Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Let's start on the four hour chart just for everybody who's new on the channel um, to give you an idea of the bigger picture before we dive into the micro structure. The idea is that Solana is possibly still in a third wave rally. Um, this is very much extended. Extensions have to be expected in third waves in crypto. And this is the bigger picture. So a third wave up yeah, that started to form back in September as part of a larger five wave move to the upside, um, which is a trend following move or a, a move that works or runs in line with a high level trend. Then we should still get a wave four afterwards that might have started, might not quite have started yet. That's exactly what we're talking about in a smaller time frame. There are clear levels to watch. And then one more high would still be expected after that wave four. At this stage, I have not really any clear signal or indication that wave four to the downside has started, this main wave four in yellow. And therefore, uh, we're exploring still one more extension in wave three. I hope that makes sense. But overall, looking at the bigger picture, the situation for me uh, is clear and hasn't changed for, for months. This wave two low, wave three, wave four, wave five. So even after a more decent pullback, another high would be expected. Yeah. After that, okay, there might be a substantial top, but it's really too early to confirm that. What, what What's going to happen here? Yeah. Um, and that could mean new bear market lows. I don't really believe that at this stage, but it could mean a deep pullback. Okay. Uh, and then carry on. There are many options which we will explore when we get there. Overall, my bull market targets for Solana haven't really changed. I'm still watching sort of 420 to 750. That might still change, but that's sort of what I'm looking at at the moment. We're still far away from that. Now let's dive into the one hour chart because this is where we can distinguish between the two scenarios that are part of this structure. And there is really only one scenario here on the larger time frame at the moment. Should make it quite simple. And then we have one short-term bearish scenario, which suggests that we're already in the wave four and we'll then move up in a wave five. And the other scenario allows for one more extension, then wave four, then wave five. I think it's a very clear and simple chart. Um, someone commented yesterday, there are two scenarios. That's so complicated. Actually, if you have that thinking and mindset, ooh, think again, two scenarios is amazing. If you get three or four on the chart, that's going to be difficult. But if I can manage it to reduce it down to two scenarios to make it as simple as possible, um, that's the best situation you get to, right? It would be irresponsible to share only one because what happens if support breaks? You have no idea, right? So two scenarios is the situation you always want to get to. If you get three or four, you might not want to trade it because probabilities get less clear, unclear, and you don't really have very clear levels to watch in most cases because every scenario has its own levels. Whereas if we have a short-term bullish and a short-term bearish scenario, which are, by the way, all part of the same overall scenario, there's really not much, you know, th this is an amazing situation because we have one clear level um, to watch where probabilities shift. Um, so yeah, it's far from complicated. Um, but then obviously it's also not simple, right? I mean, markets are not simple. So there is a degree of complexity and markets are non-linear, you know, uh, probabilistic and so on. You know that. So anyway, um, in the short term bearish scenario, which is not what I prefer at the moment, but, you know, it's also not that I'm ruling it out. It's, it's, it's probable as well. Otherwise, I wouldn't show it to you. The main benefit of the analysis is not that I tell you that I'm leaning towards another extension. The main benefit is that I share with you target levels for both scenarios as well as the relevant support levels. And those levels, those pivot points, you can use to position yourself um, and to, you know, you can integrate them obviously into your own trading plan. I mean, that's really the main benefit. Um, you know, I'm no prophet, I am just an analyst, but we, the best we can really do is to understand the relevant levels and then we can monitor the chart as the price gets to these levels and we can watch for potential reactions and we understand where we could set the stop loss and things like that. Now, in a situation in which the short-term bearish scenario plays out, we are already coming down now in wave four. 
we will not know that until the price gives us a sustained break below the support level at $89.80. That's still unchanged. This scenario is basically in detail a 1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two setup. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There will be other waves along the way. And then another 1, 2, and then 3, 4, 5. So basically a bearish 1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two setup. However, there is one level that will make this scenario less likely, and that is this green line. A break above $115.60 would invalidate the second 1-2 to the downside. Um, so that means, consequently, in the white scenario, which is short-term bullish, allows for one more extension, that level needs to break. Also, in the yellow scenario, we are now in resistance. So the price would really need to turn to the downside pretty much now for the yellow scenario to remain a likely option. Um, now, don't, um, don't, don't misunderstand me. I mean, really, we will not invalidate the yellow scenario just by breaking above $115.60, but we will invalidate the immediate, very bearish 1-2-1-2 setup. That would already be a win for the bulls. So that's the first level really that needs to break to tell us that the bulls are likely winning here. And in the white scenario, yeah, the wave 4 could already have bottomed, smaller degree wave 4, and there could be one more high in a wave 5 extension of a larger degree third wave, targeting $134.80 to $147.47. Um, and yeah, getting above that $115.60 level next would be key. Also, other condition is to stay above the... Um, to stay above the $97.30 level now, that swing low that was made yesterday, and then just following through. If we get a break below yesterday's low, it will get a bit difficult. There are still two more levels to watch then, $93 and $89.80, but below that level, it will get very difficult for the white scenario. I will probably then take it off the chart, um, but it will not be invalidated, but it will just reduce significantly in likelihood at least if we get a sustained break below the 50% retracement. Not an invalidation point, just micro support. That should tell you all the levels, so I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content every single day. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.